This is my uh, notes or my quick guide for dictionaries. Uh, dictionary is another data structure in Python. And here's the definition. It's a collection of paired data elements. So it's a little bit like a list, but instead of having one item, uh, you've got two things uh, for every position in the dictionary. So we've got a key and a value. And it's called a dictionary because it works just like a dictionary in the ordinary English sense where you have a book that is full of keys and values. The key in the dictionary is the word that you're looking up, and the value that's associated with the key is the definition of the word. So you can think of a regular dictionary as being made up of pairs with keys and values, and uh, that's exactly what a dictionary data structure is in Python. And the keys can be strings, integers or even floating point numbers. So we're limited to those three things. So we're going to open up the interactive window and we're going to try some of these examples. So uh, let's copy this. And let's open up our Python shell and let's go down here and uh, I want to get this up a little higher on the screen. I have to... Okay, now let's paste it in. Yeah, apparently I lost it from the key. Say control C. So let's see if it's on the clipboard now. I do a control V and it's not letting me paste in yet. Uh, because maybe I'm not on the bottom line. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna execute this statement, and what I'm getting here are uh, here's the first element, and the key comes first, and then a colon, and then whatever you want for the value. And uh, here's the second element. It's Bob and his phone number, and look, here's the third element, and it's Chuck and his phone number. So we're using strings for keys. We're also using strings for the data values. And um, aside from the fact that we've got a pair for every item in the dictionary, uh, the other notation is that dictionaries are denoted by curly brackets, um, not square brackets like a list. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Enter on this. And... Now, uh, if I type in phone book and hit enter, it comes back and it shows me uh, everything that's in the phone book. It's exactly what I had before, except it spaced things out a little bit, and it also uses uh, single apostrophes instead of the double quotation marks. Okay, now we can go and we can retrieve items from the book, from the phone book. So that says, get what's at position L. And it comes back, and what's at position Al is Al's phone number, which is 555-1111. So instead of accessing items by their position, you know, in a list, this would be item number 0 in the list, and this would be item number 1 in the list, and this would be item number 2 in the list. So we're not accessing them by their position. We are accessing them by their key, okay? And that's kind of a... Um, term that you'll hear a lot in your database course. Uh, a key is something that uniquely identifies something in a database, so or a table. Uh, we can check to see if something is included, and um, so I'm not going to do the if, I'm just going to do uh, Al in phone book. And that's a boolean. Al is either in the phone book or he is not, and I hit enter and it comes back and says true. Now, let's try the other part of it. Whoops. I'm asking if Al's phone number is in the book, and it's not. Okay, so when we're testing for inclusion in a dictionary, what we are testing for is to see if the key is in there, not to see if the value associated with the key is in there. Let's try another one. Let's try Al with a lowercase a and see if that works. And you can probably guess what's going to happen. Uh, those two strings are not the same. And so it's probably going to come back and say false. And it does. Okay. Uh, if you want to add an element to your phone book uh, or to your dictionary, just uh, give the name of it. And then we're going to access the elements using square brackets again, just like we would with a subscript, but this isn't. A numeric subscript anyway and so I'm going to say phone book and at the key Dan I want to put in 555-4444 okay and now if I check to see if uh, not if we'll just do the boolean expression here uh, so Dan 
post pair capitalize at in phone book should now be true. Okay. And if I want to find the length of phone book, the LEN function we've used many times before, you can use it to find out the length of just about anything in Python. And it tells us that the length of the phone book is now four. Uh, if I had done that uh, before we added Dan, the length would have obviously been three. Uh, you can delete an element. Uh, it's just a DEL command. And I want to go to my phone book. That's spelled right, though. And you also got to get the case of the keys right here, which I'm having problems with. Okay. Now, if I do a length of phone book, now it's three. And if I just print it out, I've got Al and Bob and Dan, but Chuck is no longer there. Okay. I've also got uh, an option over here for clearing a dictionary. So if you want to wipe everything out and start over again, uh, use the clear method. And since a dictionary is a type of list structure, uh, I mean, technically it's not a list in Python, but it's a generic type of a list where we've got uh, just a collection of things. And um, so you'd expect that there might be a way to step through everything like using a for loop, uh, and we can. Uh, the for loop is just a little bit different from what we're used to with like a string or a list. Uh, instead of just having one value here, uh, I've got two. So I'm going to ask, and you can put anything you want to here, but key and value seem like, uh, you know, pretty good names. Maybe I could do like uh, uh, name and phone number instead. Um, but uh, this will step through, give me the first key and the associated value. Then it'll give me the second key and the associated value and, and so on until it runs out. So um, let's copy that. Flip over to our Python shell here, and let's uh, paste that in. So let's uh, hit Enter now, and let's see what it does for us. And so the first time through, it gets Al, and it gets the value. And then it gets Bob, and it gets the value, and then it gets Dan, and it gets the value. So we're going to print the key and the value. Um, if I just, and, and by the way, notice, uh, that this you don't say in phone book you have to say in phone book dot items okay I'm not sure what would happen if we just said phone book but let's try it okay and it says there are too many values to unpack that's not a very good error message but uh, it tells us we cannot just list phone book there. We've got to list phone book dot items. Um, let's try uh, just do phone book dot items and hit enter. And it comes back and it gives us uh, looks like a list. And uh, the list is made up of pairs where I have a key and a value. So um, and we haven't talked about them, but if you just have a list of things in parentheses like this. Uh, it's called a tuple. Uh, don't really need to worry about it because we're not going to be using it for the rest of the term. Uh, but it returns a list. So uh, what I'm saying is I want to go through everything in here and uh, this will be the key and this will be the value the first time through and then this will be the key and the value the second time through and this will be the key and the value the third time through. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, something that will just get the keys for us. And let's try that. I'm not going to do a print. I can just type in uh, phonebook.keys. And that's a function call. So I hit enter. And it comes back and it gives me uh, all of the keys. And we got a similar one for values. And it will return uh, the values for me. Um, there is a method for retrieving an item from a dictionary and removing it at the same time. So if I type uh, phonebook.pop al, it returns the data item. And now if I print phonebook, uh, so I need to print, just to say phonebook, and hit enter, uh, al is no longer there. OK, so uh, we're going to do a dictionary example. So those those are the basics. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just got 
basically a list of pairs. The first item is the key, the second item is the value. Rather than using a number, an index to retrieve something from a dictionary, you use a key which can be a number, could be a number, but it can also be a string or floating point value as well. So uh, we're on our next video, we're going to write a program to count words in a file. We've got the actual text of Dracula, and uh, we downloaded that from Gutenberg.org, I think it is. And um, we'll look at that example uh, in the next video.